What's going on guys? Today I'll read a professional statement. It got me offers from Warwick, Bristol and Imperial. So, enjoy. Computer science is a rapidly evolving subject with a wide variety of applications, interacting with many other areas such as maps, music and physics. I took computer science at GCSE and A-level, commuting over two hours every day so I could study the subject I love. My other subjects at A-level also demonstrate my an aptitude for further study. In physics, I explore some of the more physical aspects of computer science, such as resistivity in semiconductors, and studying maths requires strong numerical and logical thinking skills that are often needed in computer science, as well as learning how to study independently, as I had to complete it in one year. I furthered my understanding on how computers directly affect people's lives by doing an EPQ, for which I built the PC and compared it to pre built and then analyzed which would be better for the average person. Applying maps when solving problems, whether they are textbook problems, real-life scenarios, or algorithms, is something I love doing. When I attended the Stratified Mathematical Masterclass, I learned how maps can be applied to data to find clear correlations, as well as how it is used to remove noise from images. I also participated in the UKMT Maths Challenge multiple times, receiving four gold certificates and proceeding to the Olympiad or Kangaroo each time. The novel ways in which the questions apply basic maths never ceases to amaze me, and the cognitive skills I developed doing them have always been used when solving real problems, for example, in my work experience. I did programming work experience for three weeks at Oxford Economics, a global forecasting company, and for two weeks at Visma, a software company in Copenhagen. At the former, I developed a chatbot in C Sharp, completing an entire development cycle of analyzing the problem designing a solution and implementing it. I made the project exactly as it was intended by communicating with the management so no misunderstandings would arise, finishing the project in time to present it to the rest of the company. At Visma, I learned how various design patterns such as TDD and BDD are implemented and the role QA automation plays within them. I learned how code is reviewed and integrated into a single solution when multiple people are working on it, using the skills I gained when attending my school's debating society since both situations require explaining ideas clearly and organizing tasks. During my one-week work experience at Kennedy Institute of Rheumatology, I saw how computer science is applied in biological research and the role open source projects play within it, for example, the AI that Fiji uses to segment cells. Recently, I read the book Computer Architecture, a Quantitative Approach by J. L. Hennessy and D. A. Patterson. While reading the book, I relearned that the two main obstacles to CPU performance today are keeping the clock synchronized across the chip and that the majority of pipelining has been exploited, which contributed to the majority of performance increases in the past decades. The fact that processors can use speculation to execute hundreds of instructions based entirely on guesses to help overcome these barriers is fascinating. I loved reading the book learning about how computers work and how code is interpreted by CPUs, and it made me realize what a big role the more subtle aspects of computers play, for, such as block memory, block sizes, and associativity within cache. Today, in an age of unprecedented technological advancement, the importance of computer science is inexpressible. I want to continue learning computer science and understand it in its entirety, possibly contributing to this fascinating subject one day. I want to push myself to achieve my full potential, be surrounded by ambitious people, and be taught by subject leaders who really understand computer science and its unmistakable impact on our world. One tip I would give is that you should try to explain in your personal statement why you specifically are suitable for that course. So rather than just explaining your interest in computer science, in my example, it would be why they should choose me to do a computer science course. That's it from me for today, guys. Like if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.